All right, today what we want to show you is a demonstration with using solvent-based aerosol paints, such as Sem Color Coat, Color Bond, compared to using a high-performance professional finish like Polycrill. We sprayed each one of these pieces here, and on the aerosols, sprayed them, everything was prepped the same, sprayed the same. The only difference is on the professional Polycrill, we added a cross-linker to this to activate the um, dye base to make it super durable and chemical resistant. So we always like to do our test with alcohol because a lot of cleaners and sanitizers are all alcohol based these days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the chemical resistance properties of each of these. These two here, uh, like any of the other aerosol solvent based paints are simply spray paint, that's all it is. So we take the alcohol and we start to clean with it. And what happens, it comes right off. Now we're gonna do the same thing with Color Bond. People say, oh, I use Color Bond, or I use Sam, or whatever they wanna use, it doesn't matter. With Color Bond, it comes off. Now, when you get a professional finish, cross-link, you can top coat this, you can adjust the sheen. And another thing you might want to notice is the sheen is nice and natural for polycrill. On these other ones, it's more shiny, more plasticky painted look. So you get the factory look with extreme durability. So now, I take the alcohol. We're going to do the same test that we did on these two with the polycrill. All right, so as you can see, Polycrill versus Color Bond versus Sen aerosols. The solvent-based paints might be quick and easy, but they don't last. They will always crack and fail. So if you want a premium finish, if you want the finish to be long-lasting and durable, you need to use a professional finish like Polycrill. 